What's up world? It's Master Christian coming at you. How you doing? Today's lesson is going to be on technique and equipment. You want to be effective in what you do. You want to have control. It's certain things that you need to do. It starts off with your equipment even before you have a dog with you. So let's just jump on into equipment. So the first things first, we need the right kind of leash. We want a leather leash. The reason for having a leather leash is going to be that you can use it as a pulley. You can slide your hand up and down, you can get to the dog, you can do a lot of things if you have the right technique to go along with the right equipment. Leather leash. Next, gonna wanna get a training collar. This is a special collar, it's called a slip collar. You need to know how to use it or you're gonna use it as a choke chain and you don't wanna be choking the dog up. You wanna be using it effectively so you can correct the dog. This is a tool for correction. It goes along with this thing, the leather leash. They hook together like this. The way this tool works is you take it and you make a P. Now to you, that's a P. I see a P. Then you take the P and you put the P over the front of the dog's face. Straight over the front of the dog's face. Now, if you spin it around, it's gonna be a nine, and that's incorrect, and your correction is not gonna be what you want it to be. So, I can give you the way to be effective and be able to control your dog when you need to control your dog. Next, we're gonna bring out a dog and show you by the use of this equipment, right equipment, then we're gonna use some technique it's called leash handling. I'm gonna teach you some leash handling skills that's gonna save your life if you do it correctly. Hold on for a second, because we got one more thing. After you teach your dog how to work, this is called a flat collar. This is for a finished dog. You would remove the slip collar, which was for training and correction, and go on to the flat collar, which has no correction. So equipment, very important. If you got the right equipment, and you use the right techniques, you're gonna win. I guarantee it. So I'll be back, have a dog in a minute, and I'm gonna show you some handling skills with the leash. I'm gonna go slow for you, and I'm gonna show you how to handle your leash correctly. Yeah, correctly. So you have control, because it's up to you to stay in control of your dog. Be right back. Okay, first things first. With that leather lead that I just showed you about, we wanna start in one position and one position only. We wanna take this right thumb and we wanna put it through this hole right here. You don't want your hand through it, your wrist, wrapped around your hand or none of that, cause you can hurt yourself badly. Your thumb is the strongest part of your hand and this is how we work a leash. You see it's a pulley system, pulley system. So my dog is here. I can slide down this and get to my dog. I can maneuver my dog where I need it to go. And when I go behind my back, look at it. I switch hands, slow motion. I switch hands. Now I'm bringing it back around. Look at the dog follow. Because he knows that he's being handled. Sit, no sit. That's a correction. If it doesn't work, no sit. You can give a little harder correction. Now we got our sit. Equipment is very important because if you're in danger, you got to fix it. You got to be able to help the dog not get itself hurt. You got to be able to help the dog not run into your legs, not get you hurt. So we start with thumb through the loop. We work our way down. We get to the dog. We can let go. We can grab. We can drop. We can flip. We can use the leash around our body as long as we're touching so we can get back to position A. Position A is gonna save the day 100% of the time. So thumb through the loop, slide down your leash, gather it up, secure your dog. That's how it works. Once you're standing still, become a tree because you don't move until you're ready to move. Don't let your animal move you. Now I'm gonna take it, take it around the back again to show you. When I switch hands in slow motion, boom, technique. Boom, look at that, I flipped it, thumb through the loop, boom, I'm coming back around, boom, frontwards, boom, I switched hands, slow, 
And for y'all lefties out there that say, yo, you using your right hand. Now I'm left handed. I can use either hand. I can get this both ways, but we start off for technique purposes this way. Good boy. My training demo is in training. He did a good job. That's Master Christian for today. Technique equipment. That's what we talking about. Peace.